ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 12th day of January. James Spann here, and we are getting set for the coldest air so far this season. And for many folks, the coldest air in several years blowing in here later this week. The weather will be getting progressively colder. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. How about a little bit of freezing fog in Tuscaloosa? They're sitting in the uh, upper 20s there with very dense fog this morning. And that means that uh, on some of the uh, bridges, there could be some icy spots if where that fog is awfully thick. So uh, that's the immediate problem this morning. Here's a look at uh, Mount Chiha. Well, they had uh, that freezing fog pretty much all day yesterday when they were in the clouds up there, coating a lot of the trees with ice. Uh, the sky clear this morning, and from downtown Birmingham, it's clear and cold. And again, readings are generally in the mid to upper 20s this morning. Well, well, the stage is set for a big Arctic blast. We've talked about this for, what, weeks and it's happening this week. You can see a series of short waves in that uh, northwest flow aloft that's developing, and that's going to sharpen up the trough over the east, and the coldest days will be Thursday and Friday, as you'll see. For the moment, the coldest air is up north. It's cold enough. Again, we're below freezing, but uh, you can see those minus 25s up in Canada, and the gate will be wide open for that to flood over the eastern half of the nation late this week. Uh, just fair warning, it's going to be pretty tough out there. Uh, it's going to be dry, though, uh, for the snow fans and ice fans, not looking good at all. Uh, there could be a few flurries with each shot of cold air. We'll see one cold front tomorrow. The next big one will be Thursday. But in terms of any uh, potential uh, for problems, we don't see that this week. It will be cold and dry. Let's look at the modeling. This is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. And again, you can see the uh, series of short waves. Uh, that will be sharpening up the trough. And look at the 594 circle. That's almost like August that's uh, west of San Francisco, pumping up that big ridge up over to uh, Canada and Alaska, tapping that brutally cold air they have been in. If the surface today should be dry and cool with a high uh, around 50, although I'm not so sure we can get out of the 40s based on yesterday when we never got out of the 30s, the guidance will be horrible in this situation as it was yesterday. Tomorrow, here comes that first short wave sharpening up the trough, and down below that, we'll have a strong cold front blowing in here. And again, uh, I have great concern. The model guidance is too warm. Uh, the guidance is suggesting a high in the low and mid-40s, but like yesterday, don't be shocked if we stay in the 30s all day with a biting north wind. And again, there could be a few flurries tomorrow morning with a cold front coming in, but uh, no big deal with that. Wednesday, uh, that'll be kind of in between fronts. Uh, should be mostly sunny and cool with a high in the 40s. And then Thursday, that's going to be a harsh day right there. Uh, the trough is sharp. Arctic air plunges in here. That's a 1,044 millibar high near Wichita, Kansas. And again, maybe a few morning flurries, but the day should be dry, windy, and cold with temperatures, uh, if anything, having a hard time getting above freezing. The wind chill index on Thursday could drop into the single digits during the day. And then Friday morning, that's when the, uh, the, the thing should bottom out. Uh, we think lows Friday morning between 10 and 15 with a clear sky and calm wind. The colder valleys over North Alabama should do single digits early Friday morning. It's very hard to get single-digit lows this far south in the United States without snow cover, but I think some of the colder valleys could do that Friday. But again, for most spots, we'll say lows between 10 and 15. Saturday morning will be very cold, but we should moderate during the day Saturday with a sunny sky uh, with highs getting up in the 40s. And then by Sunday, here comes that next little feature, and, and that's the question, will it be warm enough for just rain at that point? There's a look at Sunday afternoon. There's a look at Sunday evening, and that is suggestive that it might be cold enough for snow with that feature over the Tennessee Valley, maybe some uh, freezing rain down into the Interstate 20 corridor. But at this point, we're not comfortable making the call. Let's... Uh, Let's wait on a couple of more runs to, to, to see this thing. No forecast yet. We're still calling this voodoo, even though it's technically within seven days. Just be aware the possibility is there for some mischief either Sunday afternoon or Sunday night. And then Monday, that feature is uh, on by. And at the end of the forecast on the 27th, note, note how the polar jet, the polar jet is uh, up north. A little feature coming through the deep south, and that would suggest some wet weather. But look at the NAO, and you can see how it flips strongly positive beginning next week. So, again, we think uh, uh, this 
will be the coldest period uh, this week, and then we start to moderate uh, next week based on that uh, NAO outlook, and it's been pretty good. It's worked out well for this cold air forecast for sure. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today, and of course we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.